Hi everyone, and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to pass data the second way. I made the first way like a month ago, and the second way is using prepare for segue. So to get started, I'm going to open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application, and I'm going to call it passing data. It doesn't matter if it's capital or not. Just all that it's going to be flipped in iPhone and I'm just going to save mine on the desktop. The first thing we're going to do is go de deselect landscape left and right because we're not going to use those. We're going to go to main desk storyboard and on the first view controller we are just going to drag on a button and a text field. Once you have those on we can continue. Now we are going to drag on another view controller and just put it right there. And this button will be called uh, pass data. And just control click drag to here and it will be show. Now on the second view controller all we need is a label. We're going to make it nice and big, nice and wide. Just make it as wide as you can and as big as you can, but try not, don't make it cover the whole screen. And we're going to center align it and fill a number of lines to like seven. So we can have more space and if you type in too much text, it'll be fine. Now we are going to um, go to file, new, file. And we're going to, it's going to be a Koga Touch class, and we're going to call it to view two. And the subclass is UI view controller. And it's going to be Swift, and I'm just going to save it right there. Now we're going to link up this view controller with that file. So we're going to go to select this view controller and go to the identity inspector, and go all the way down and select view two. Now the next step is to make the outlet so in view controller all we need it for the outlet is the um, text field and the outlet space var I'm going to call it txt field which means text field and then it's going to be a ui text field and we are also going to have the prepare for segue method so you just type prepare for segue and then we are going to go to view two and create an outlet for the label. I'm just going to call label and then we are going to create a variable called label text. And I'm going to set it equal to an empty string. Now we can link up the outlets. So I'm going to link up the text field first and just link that up. And the next one will be the label. So now let's go to viewcontroller.swift and in prepare for segue, we're going to say, make a variable called dest view controller destination view controller and it's going to be a type view two we're going to set it equal to segue dot destination view controller as exclamation mark view two now on the next line we're going to say dest view controller dot label text equals text field dot text. What that does is it set the label text on view two to um, text field dot text. As you can see right, you can see that label text here and label text right here. Now on view two, um, the last thing we have to do before we can run is this label dot text equals label text. And that just as simple as that, we can just, oh, we have to add constraints. 
So select the view controller, hit the triangle, and say add missing constraints. We're going to do that with the same thing right here. And now let's run. Now it should work. If you look, if you say Jeffrey, and I hit pass data, and it says Jeffrey. So this app works, and um, you could use this for like if you said um, uh, claim your, if you had a label that said claim your reward, and then you, there, there was some, there was like, um, you had to type in something and uh, like a quiz sort of and if you s typed in your answer and you hit it hit submit and then the next page would say you are right this was your answer and the correct answer was this so or you were wrong your answer was this or the, the correct answer was that so this everything that I've caught you on this YouTube channel probably will have some use in your app development. So guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.